Annotating a text means taking notes directly on a text as you were reading it. That means writing in the margins, highlighting, labeling, or making notes as you read. This captures your thinking not only for yourself, but also for your instructor. You can annotate on multiple levels. Surface level observations like plot points, main ideas, or characteristics are a good place to start. You can amp up your annotations by including questions or theories about the text, themes or common motifs that you see repeated in the text, or even links to your own prior knowledge. All of these inferences can be helpful for you in the future when you refer back to the text to use it for evidence in an essay or in answers for tasks that you have within your course. If you are enrolled in a course that uses the Springboard online website, you will need to learn how to annotate on the site. Take a look at the steps provided here and follow them so that you can earn full credit on your assignments that require annotations. Another option for completing annotations is by doing so on a PDF file. Take a look at the example provided here, and if you need to download the Adobe program, click on the website provided in the second bullet. Once you have saved your annotations on your PDF, make sure that the file is saved to a reliable spot on your desktop or a folder that you use for our class. Then upload the PDF to submit assignments in Blackboard for our class as usual. An additional annotation option is to do annotations in Microsoft Word. If you have copy and pasted the text of your document into a Word document, it's easy to add comments. Follow the steps provided here and highlight as needed to isolate areas that you want to focus on for your annotations. The easiest way to annotate is still the old fashioned by hand method. Grab a highlighter, grab a pen, and work on your text by underlining, highlighting, and writing in the margins. Then, if you are needing to upload the document, you can scan it or take a picture of it with a phone. Make sure that the image is visible and is light enough to see, and then upload it to Blackboard as you would for any other assignment. Many students do not earn full credit on their annotations if they only highlight or if they only put one or two words in the margin. So make sure that you are including all of your thoughts as you are reading and you are not stopping at just highlighting the text. The following resources can be helpful as well. The first is a document published by Springboard that takes you step by step through how to annotate using their site. The next is a quick guide video that may be helpful in giving you further visuals on how to annotate.